Okay viewers, welcome back to Raceway. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Now on today's episode of Raceway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this 2015 Ford Escape and replace the rear wiper arm that's been mysteriously ripped off. So uh, let me show you what we got and we'll get to it. Okay viewers, as you can see right now, the wiper blade is off. So there was some vandalism, mischief whatever it was some people thought it would be nice just to rip this off the car so what we're going to do is replace that show you how it's done it's a fairly cheap product to to replace um but hey we shouldn't have to replace it if people weren't you know uh doing stuff they shouldn't be doing um so let me let me show you what i have over here to replace it with and we'll go from there all right in order to complete this task here today you know what you'll need is a 13 millimeter socket some scraping devices i don't have a pick if you had a pick that'd be great sometimes you want to use like um, a reciprocating saw blade this one's for metal um a brush i don't have a little wire brush like that that would be good if i did you know i picked up some you know small slotted screwdrivers and so forth to use that uh, we got grooves we need to clean out so that may be something we would use maybe a utility knife uh, some WD-40 to get the bolt off of course a replacement in this case I'm going to replace the uh, wiper blade as well um, and a new blade arm so first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, spray some uh, WD-40 on the bolt so we can uh, let that set for a little bit penetrate and make it easier to get it off so let's go do that you know you see how that broke in here this is plastic so whenever i try to take that off i am going to fit this blade back in here and um hold on to it when i when i unscrew that it may help keeping that from just twisting around so we'll see maybe i won't need to maybe i can just hit that with uh hold that with some pliers um, a vice grip and then unbolt it i'll probably do that but you got to be careful on the windshield uh, the back window don't want to break that either right here outside so spray that on her I'll wipe that off the car I'll give that a couple minutes and we'll come back and take that off okay viewers let me show you what I did here so far no no it's not on yet this is the broken one so what I did is I placed it back on here where I believe it went and then what it, I would I didn't have any um, painters tape or anything but you know um, put some tape on the window just to give me an idea where to align it so when you put it back on now it's sagging a little bit here but when I had it up firm where it was, was need needed to be it uh, here you go it generally fell in right there so so you just give you um, a place of reference when you put the new blade on there okay so we'll take this off we'll take that bolt off and we'll uh, go from there so again, we're going to put this on here, 13 millimeter. I said I was going to hold that, but let's just give it a shot without it. Oh, it loosened it up a little bit there. I'll go slow. I don't want to ruin the motor on the other side or anything like that. So take this off. There we go. There we go. Take that on. There we go. So we'll pull this off and I'll, and I'll show you how the threads look and we'll take it from there. Okay, now what makes this tough is you have to slide this off. And um, you got all this corrosion in here. So I'm going to hit this again, let that penetrate in there. I don't got a puller, but. You know, I can slowly try to slide this out. Maybe I will use some vice grips on it to help pull it off. I don't want it to crack and break the nut to try to dig all this stuff out of here. So let me uh, spray this again here. Okay, viewers, I got it off and I had to do it off camera. All we did was I put like a vice grip on it and, and just wiggled it slightly up until it was slid off so um just can't do it with one hand that way so what i'm going to do is i'll go in and 
clean out these grooves here um, scrape them out make sure that all that debris out of there that way when we put the new arm on it slides in there correctly so I think you get the idea of that so I'm gonna do that um, so again I'm using this um, reciprocating saw blade you can see I'm just going up and down the slots here and knocking out the stuff that's in there so this does work fairly well in here so um, again it's a little bit hard to do looking through the phone so you get the idea so I'm gonna go around and clean this up and uh, we'll respray it again with WD-40 just get it all cleaned up and I'll hit it with that little brush and uh, so let me give give me about a couple minutes to do that for you okay viewers I've pretty much got that cleaned out pretty good there and actually what I went back and ended up using is this little screwdriver here so you know ones you can find in your kits to fix your eyeglasses and so forth or those real small set of screwdrivers so that that fit in there real well and it uh, cleaned out and did a real good job so let me get the arm and we'll slide that on her and line it back up okay viewers so what it is I put this arm back on her lined it up with the tape you know I pushed it on her so now I'm just gonna put this uh, bolt back on and we'll tighten it down I'll make sure I go in the right direction so I want to hold on to that so that doesn't move while I tighten it um, I'll be right back all right so make sure you don't tighten that down make sure you don't over tighten it and split and break anything type so once you got it snug just let it go we'll take this tape off here and uh, we'll turn the wiper on see how it works so there we go we got it working it's all good went back to regular position it's all good to go so there you go do it yourself project simple and easy like share subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time on Ray's way